let's focus on another meteorological condition where turbulence and wind shear may occur, low-level jets. At night, in anticyclonic conditions, with a light breeze or in still air, the temperature close to the ground reduces due to terrestrial radiation. The height of the temperature inversion increases as the ground temperature decreases throughout the night. Another effect of this inversion is a reduction in wind velocity towards calm conditions close to the ground. Meanwhile, at the top of the inversion, we can see an increase in wind velocity that may be stronger than the synoptic wind. These conditions are favorable for the creation of low-level jets. Even when the wind is calm at the surface with a temperature inversion in the morning, pilots must be vigilant of changing wind gradients during the initial climb. A sudden tailwind from a low-level jet may cause a sudden loss in aircraft energy soon after takeoff. You may experience a sinking feeling, loss of airspeed, and apparent loss of power. This may also be accompanied by an EGPWS alert. In such a case, apply the wind shear or terrain avoidance recovery technique as published in your aircraft operations manual. In some locations around the world, low-level wind shear alert systems may provide an early indication for low-level jets close to an aerodrome. Flight crew awareness and alertness are key factors in avoiding wind shear and during the recovery phase. Some of the precursors of wind shear are indicated airspeed variations in excess of 15 knots, ground speed variations, a decreasing headwind or an increasing tailwind, or a shift from a headwind to a tailwind, vertical speed excursions of 500 feet per minute or more, pitch attitude excursions of five degrees or more, glide slope deviation of one dot or more, heading variations of 10 degrees or more and unusual autothrust activity or thrust lever position. If significant wind shear caused by a low level jet is encountered during the takeoff and initial climb or during an approach and landing, report this to ATC immediately so that other crews will be alert to the situation. We remember that in the Northern Hemisphere, as we descend, the wind velocity reduces and the vector changes anticlockwise. The opposite directional change occurs in the Southern Hemisphere. In a METAR, you can find an indication of wind shear. Low-level jets may be identified using external cues, such as the change in direction with height of smoke coming out of a chimney. It may also be indicated by a temperature rise rather than a fall when climbing away. To prevent a hazardous encounter with low-level jet, be aware of the conditions and indications. You can assess local conditions are safe to take off by reviewing recent weather reports, pilot observations and any operational experience that's available. Pilot reports are important. Your colleagues will give great information, especially if it's recent and relevant to your aircraft type. Well, a Cessna 152 behaves a little bit differently than an Airbus A330. And fly a stabilized approach and be responsive to warnings generated. Be prepared to correct the flight path or go around immediately. <laughs>